Hello and welcome to Four Pines Park. Brookvale Oval for the final game of rivalry round against Fox. Well, it's between the Manly Warringah Seagulls and the Melbourne Storm. I'm your Commissioner Will Kay. Ecstatic to be here in what has been an all-time classic match before and hopefully will be once more. And you know, this time last season, it was the Storm narrowly coming away with a, a lead or with the win in a uh, high-scoring affair through the try of Trey Bontakahu. I can't remember if he was on debut or he played only just a couple of games. But I remember that try very, very fondly. And um, if you're looking to do it again here at Brookvale, got voted moment of the season. Just all-out incredible uh, stuff and heroics. So this game has had a bit of history. And uh, we'll see how it goes in this outing tonight as Monkey's going to take the first hit up of the game. Go play the ball. They go right. K okay. goes inside to Feu. Who will run it. And you know, a couple changes for Manly this week. Having to swap around their forward pack entirely as Casey K comes away with an intercept early here. And Manly will have the first chance in this red zone as Rex Buckingham goes left. Out to the wing of Taylor, who will be brought down by Maverick Oldfield. Ray Romano will play the ball. He goes right and it's a forward pass from Casey K. A storm off the hook there. As Harris goes inside. Bell now. Corey Bell. It's his 50th game tonight. And he'll be looking to play it in style as they go left out to Mark Iron. As I said. The four, mainly having to shake up their forward pack. Uh, Punch, you know, Kalen Kelly starting in the in the props. Billy King, Creedux Chapman, they've swapped, I believe. And Cruz Bontoff at lock. Aaron Beckman and Brad Goodwin having to start off the bench. That's going to be a uh, a bit of a blow, I think, for the Seagulls. It'll be interesting to see how they play with uh, that. It's a handicap a little bit. It is a bit of a handicap. And the Storm, they've just swapped. A. Nilsson into the starting side at 12. Logan Geis is out to the 11 uh, for the start of this match here. And um, Marnie Fightfully back to the bench. And Riley Murray back to the bench as well with Moran Wilmot starting. So some good uh, good amount of changes for both teams, especially in the forwards. The backs pretty much remaining unchanged except for Errol Ray Romano. Swapping sides with Kane Nilsson. He gets an intercept here. And he ha thought he had his first, uh, first glimpse at points. But no, it's going to be Thorne running from dummy half. He can't get it done. Bell goes left to Wilmot. Wilmot's going to drive for it. Ryan Wilmot. Be three meters out from the line now. As he plays the ball. Bell goes again. It's going to go. Oh, it's a knock on. The knock on actually off uh, Manly. And Storm will have a repeat set here. They, I thought, okay, knocked on there. But no, he, it actually went backwards and off the hands of a Manly player. As Kay will go left. I mean, he'll get the ball left, and Kay's going to drive, and Kay's going to score here. And then for, I believe, the third game in a row, Will Kay has scored. And he's beaten Oshay Ole there. And, wow, you beauty. Oshay Ole not able to hold him out. And uh, just driving over there, Will Kay. Melbourne will take the lead early here. Not before a couple of turnovers already in this match. Yes, there we go. That one slotted straight through the sticks. go. JLA looking to kick off. And he will do so going deep. Hey, fields on the full goes to Monkey. He'll just be short of the 20. Guys brought down there, not being able to make many meters. Some good defense from 
Manly. This thorn goes right to Monkey. Monkey now straight to the line. Alao Matangi, who's been great at fullback, having to get a bit busy there. As they go right, it's going to be Taranga Halfet, who goes left. Back to Monkey on an offload. Fourth tackle now, just crossing over this halfway mark. As they go left, again, Logan Guys. Driving there, 35 or 33 out from the line. Mark Iron will play the ball. They go left, it's going to go to Kate. That's a bit of a stinker kick there. And Pato Pato fields it. Hopefully some improvement seen tonight later on. Is it? Not much uh, distance could be made there in that kick, I'm sure. Uh, Maddie Harris, if you're watching. It's Alma Tungi. He'll play the ball just over the 50. They go left now. It's going to go to Punch. Brought down 40 metres out from the opponent's line. Third tackle now. They go left. Got to go to Bontoff. Buckingham go left. Now to Billy King. He'll play the ball 30 out now. Fifth tackle. They go to Casey K, who gets a good kick there. Goes to Kobe Kelly. Kobe Kelly. Kobe Kelly on the kick return. Uh, Tyler Alatungi is going to have to come across here. Kobe Kelly wants a bit of space. Blake Harris is on his right side. Will he get the pass away? No, he won't. But he brought down only 10 metres out for the line now. The Storm with an opportunity to attack. Blake Harris goes left. It's going to go to K. Who will drive it. Five out from the try line. Going right now. Kobe Kelly steps through the middle. He wants to push again, but he can't beat the Fords. Referee Vigo Rasmussen wants to have another look at this one, though. And now he's very clearly flipped on his back there. As they'll go left, guys. Goes out to Jack Jimmy, who wants to push. He's on the... Left side for some reason, even though it was a right center. That's interesting. As they go to Kelly, Kelly's going to score on his third run of the set. Steps straight through and splices this manly defense. Obi Kelly steps Alma Tungi and Bontoff there. And there we go. He gets a try on the leaderboard. Oh, on, on the uh, scoreboard, sorry. As Banley will be ending the, well, 10 nil, ending a kick. Could be 12 nil. Uh, only 10 minutes in. Not the way Ma uh, Matty Harris, Casey K would have wanted to start this match. Up the kick for yet another time. The storm yet to kick off in this match. <laughs> Shay Olay, he's gonna kick it down deep. Finds Corey Bell. But we'll give it off to Monkey. He'll run it to the 20 and you know some good attack so far from the storm, especially close to uh, this manly line. Logan guys with a good run there. Brought down by I think it's Reed Alex Chapman on that side. Yes, it is. As Corey Bell steps one. Corey Bell weaving through. He'll make all the way just short of the 50. As they go right now. Okay, goes left to Wilmot. Inside ball. Trying to trick this manly side. They can't be fooled, though. As Thorne goes left, it's going to go to Monkey. Who's just going to take a one-out run. And a decent one at that. 35 out from the line. You think they go with the punt here. As K will kick it there. That's a good one. Just bouncing and barreling. And Manly won't be able to make much meters off it. But Buckingham goes left. Bontoft. Goes to Chapman. Alex Chapman, that is. Brook down the 30. Second tackle there. They go right. It's going to go to Goodwin. Steps one. Ethan Goodwin through the line. He's got numbers all around him. Corey Bell's the man to make the tackle. Going left now. It's going to be Palin Kelly. Left again, punch. Well, down by the 30. Fifth tackle now. What can Manly come up with? 30 metres out. O'Shea Olay is just going to put a kick in 
down to Kalen Kelly. He'll step one though. Oh, Kobe Kelly, sorry. Kobe Kelly will step one. He'll get a fair few meters before being brought down by Cruz Bontoft. As now they go right, guys. Spreads it out to Monkey. Right again, Blake Harris goes to Feu. Now it goes to Blake Harris again. Good meters there from the storm off and offload from Tarangahal Feu. Going left, Jack Jimmy spreads it out to Monkey. He will be brought down 35 out from the line. They need another solid run here so they can put an attacking kick in. Nielsen is the man to do it. As you can see, them setting something up. Corey Bell all the way out left. They're going to go to Feu, who wants to fend through the middle. Tarangahal Feu is going to score! And wow, what a try from Tarangahal Feu. He decided on the fifth he wanted to run it. Sometimes we see that play doesn't pay off, but just fending off Cruz Bontoft, straight through the middle, and wow, just to the left of the uprights, Tarangahal Feu extends this lead, and you'd think Wilke okay, gets his kick to make it 18. There you go, Wu Pei slotting that one. 18 nil. Trying out Feu, what a try. <laughs> 18 nil. Manly, we're looking to do some soul search in this crowd at Manly. Very quiet. A lot of Storm fans in the crowd if you look around. Lots of purple. Especially down uh, their own end here. So, you know, they, they've seen the game last week. Oh, la last year, sorry. And uh, they're looking and hoping for something similar. Corey Bell. Brought down just short of the 40. They're going to go left. Wilmot's going to take a run through the middle. He gets an offload to Thorn. Doesn't make him any more meters, though. Actually, he's driven back to pretty much the same spot. Fourth tackle now. Maybe Blake Harris goes for a 40-20. No, it's going to be Wilke. Oh! As if it gets straight into the face of Justin Monkey. And apologies, Justin. Uh, that is... You know, just don't get in the way, mate. No, that is a shocker. It's Rex Buckingham. We'll tap the ball. They go left. Out to Bontoft. Going right, it's going to go to Ole. Put down by Will K, one on one. Going left again, it's going to be Kalen Kelly. Now to Ben Punch. Five out from the line. Going right now, O'Shea Ole. Left, it's going to go to Bontopped again. Right now to Chapman Kenny. He puts it high. Kobe Kelly's underneath it. Who's going to be the one to take it? Kobe Kelly takes it easily. And out to the 20. They'll go for a seven tackle set. The Storm. As they go right. Brian Wilmot bumping off one. He's had a good start of the game so far. As the bench uh, boards will be coming on momentarily. They go right. Nilsson. But he had to be offside there. Billy King. There was no way he made that one back to the side. As they go left. Logan guys. With the run through the middle. As Caleb Jeff and Riley Murray come on for the storm. Riley Murray with his first run of the game. Riley Murray straight through the line. He gets an offload as well to Thorne on the inside. And some good meters there from Muzza. They go left. Feu gives it to Guys. Logan Guys now through the line. He wants to straighten up and take it to Alma Tungy's chest. He'll play the ball 15 out from the line. Mark Iron goes left. It's going to be Caleb Jeff spreading out to Kobe Kelly. Who will go in for a double? And the Storm, they're racing the clock here. What a try from Kobe Kelly. Caleb Jeff, the ball playing out the left. You don't see the prop doing that very often. But the big fella has some good hands on him. Goes all the way to Kobe Kelly. Steps one and in the corner he goes. 
22 nil in about the same amount of minutes as K is going to kick this and there we go slotted it straight through it's going to be 24 nil And wow, lightning fast, and I think that's, I guess that's appropriate. As Ashea Lay will kick it out. It's going to go to Blake Harris. He'll go left to Riley Murray, who will run it up. Look down 15 out, they go left. Fetu now. He'll play the ball. They're going left again. Logan Guys. Put them 25 out from the line. Right, Blake Harris. Now to Corey Bell. Steps one. Can't get away from Beckman, who's come on. Beckman and Brad Goodwin uh, for Manly on in, in, in their side now. It was Jack Jimmy through the middle. He can't get away from Goodwin, though. As Thorne. He'll go left. Blake Harris, who puts a kick into Errol Ray Romano. He'll field that kick well. He can't get around Jack Jimmy, though, and he'll be brought down the 20. That's now Billy King. Goes left. Inside ball. It's going to go to Alma Tungy. Brought down by Riley Murray there. Going in the tackle by Blake Harris and Caleb Jeff. As they go left now. Chapman Kenny goes to Billy King. 50 metres where they'll find themselves on the fourth tackle here, Manly. They go right again. Brad Goodwin. Tackled by Fetu and Murray. And Fetu gets stuck there by Murray and Nilsson as they go right to Casey K, who will kick it again to Kobe Kelly. You think with how dangerous he's been, you wouldn't do that anymore. As he will get past Pato Pato, but be brought down by O'Shea Olay. As that did not look forward, but it is forward, and the Storm give away an error there very early in the set on their own uh, red zone. It's Brad Goodwin with a good run there. Going right now, it's going to be Casey K spreading out to Tyler Almatungi, who steps one. Logan Guys gets to him, though, and holds him up. As they go left, it's going to go out. Oh, and it's going to be Goodwin scoring. And there we go. It took him a while, but Manly score their first try of the match through Brad Goodwin. And you could see that Storm defense clumped up on that left. And there's a massive gap. I think it was Creed Alex Chapman throwing the pass, took advantage of that, and Brad Goodwin just reeks right through. He put his team up here. Oh, not up here. <laughs> Sorry, on the board here, rather. So, uh, I'll show you a level. You'd think he'd kick this to make the lead on the 18 by Melbourne. Oh, and he gets it, but it wasn't the most confident one. And it's 24 to 6, the Storm is still leading. But still much more footy to be played. And so for the first time here, the Storm are going to kick off and interesting to see what Manly can do out of their own end uh, off after points they need a good set here really to get back in this game it doesn't need to be scoring but it does need to be strong as Beckman driven back by Kane Nielsen there he'll play the ball they go right it's going to go to Casey K flat footed he gets a couple meters now they go out to the right it's going to be Bontoff spreading it to Goodwin Now left, Billy King. Left again, it's going to go to Casey K. Brought down. Short of the 50 on the fifth tackle. Not a bad set, but still couldn't get out of their own end. It's going to be Maverick Oldfield. I think this is his first kick return of the game. His first one, and he gets through the line. Brought down by the kicker and the fullback on his 30. Jack Jimmy goes left. It's going to be Kane Nilsson with the run. 
with metres there from the rookie second rower. As they go left again, Caleb Jeff with a good run. He gets an offload as well to Will Kay, who tries to dummy. Doesn't fool Alma Tungi. Going right now, it's going to be Corey Bell. Spreads it out to Blake Harris, eventually. Fourth tackle, 30 metres out from the try line now. What can the Storm come up with? They go left. It's going to be Will Kay. Goes to Logan Guy. Straight to the line. Logan Guy, he doesn't get an offload, but he gets some good metres. Alma Tungi is going to be out of position for the last play here. Surely he put a grubber kick in as Will Kay will put a bomb out to the left edge instead. It's going to be Kobe Kelly up for it, but no, Pato Pato brings it down. And he's brought down by Mark Iron and Will Kay. And they'll really fight out of this corner here at Manly. A good set there from the Storm and a conservative last tackle option. As they go Bontoft, now to Beckman. Beckman absolutely clobbering over, I think that's... That Caleb Jeff, no, it's James Thorne, rather. As Buckingham gets the offload. Alatungi goes left to Billy King, who will drive it just past this 40-meter line. Fourth tackle now. What can they come up with? Is it a 40-20 attempt? No, it's not. It's going to go out to Alatungi. Brought down by Caleb Jeff, who's been pretty solid in this game so far. Right now, it's going to be Ole. Putting it straight to Will Kay, who charges down that kick. And will find his team on the 40 to start this set. That's a good stuff. Good stuff there from him. As Taranga Halfetu now. He'll drive. Going left. Will Kay spreads it out to Corey Bell. Steps one. Brought down by Kalen uh, Creed Alex Chapman, sorry. Lots of red-headed forwards at Manly for whatever strange reason. It's Blake Harris. Lobbered by Casey Kay and Jamie Taylor. They go left. It's going to go to Fetu. Now Nilsson wants to drive through the middle. They had a good first half performance so far. Hey, Nilsson, as it's going to go to Blake Harris. High kick. Who's going to be underneath it? It's going to be Kobe Kelly. Oh, Corey Bell wants to drive. Oh, Corey Bell. Oh, he's just short. It's going to be a changeover. I thought he scored there. But he's probably just a millimetre short. And no try yet for Corey Bell on his 50th. As they go left and... No, Manly, once again, fighting out of their own end here. Going to go to Beckman. He plays the ball on the 20. They go right. Casey K inside ball to Bontoff. Bontoff fends through one. Corey Bell gets him with the help of Kane Nilsson. Oh, and Corey Bell gives away a penalty. And that was very unneeded there from the fullback. Buckingham. Taps the ball, goes right. It's going to go to King. Now they go left to Casey K, who gets the ball away. Jamie Taylor brings him down. So, is brought down by Jack Jimmy, rather. Uh, Casey K goes out right. That looked a bit forward, but referee lets that one go. As four minutes left in this half, Manly, the best opportunity to put points on the board they've had in a while. Fourth tackle, and they're strung up on this 30 meter line. They're struggling to get past it. As Rex Buckingham goes out to Goodwin, he'll drive to that 20. Fifth tackle now. Going left uh, to Casey K. It's a deep one. Corey Bell will run onto it. No, oh, no, he won't, and Bontoff gets the ball. I'd like to see that one again. And the Bontoff has scored here. Oh, it's hit the post. And Manly, they're going to reduce this lead just to 12. A little bit out from half time. As there you go. Manly with only a 12 point uh, deficit at the moment. Three minutes in, uh, three minutes till half time. If they can get another one here, 
Uh, they'll be right back in this game. As Elmatungi goes right, it's going to be a good win. Oh! Caleb Jeff hits the floor. As Buckingham goes right, it's going to be Ole. Inside ball to Elmatungi. He'll be brought down. Just in front of that 30 meter mark. Going left now, it's going to be Jamie Taylor. Steps one. ACK goes to Errol Ray Romano. Fourth tackle, they're not out of their own half. As they will get it out of their own half, I think, on this tackle. Yes, and they do. Kalen Kelly leaning up after that mix up. And Buckingham will go left. He's going to get a Jamie Taylor. He's going to go over the top. Corey Bell fields that one. Corey Bell. He's going to be brought down by KCK. And the Storm will just hold onto the ball to finish off this half. As they go left, he's going to go to Kane Nielsen. Going right now, it's going to be Blake Harris, Jack Jimmy. And they'll have one more play here, I think, the Storm. And they'll go into the sheds. At half time, 24 points to 12. Oh no, Wilmot's going to get away now. He won't get an offload though. And a bit of excitement. The Melbourne Storm off to the sheds, 24 points to 12 on the last game of rivalry round. We'll see you very shortly. Welcome back to SRL TV. The Melbourne Storm are currently leading 24 to 12 over the Manly Warringah Seagulls in the Battle of Brookvale. As we kick off here. That's where Tyler Amatangi fielding it. Uh, the Manly Seagulls just coming back in those last 20 minutes or so after 24 points were lapped on them pretty quickly. And they scored 12 to make the lead only 12 points here by the Melbourne Storm. As Maverick Keller will play the ball. right now. I'm going to go to Ole. Now to Bell through the middle. Steps one. Can't get very far though. As the Storm will go right to guys then back inside to Blake Harris. Who will play the ball. They go left now. It's going to go Riley Murray through the middle. Now gets it away to Kay. Third tackle. About 27 out from the try line. The Storm, they want to get some early points on the board. They go right. It's going to go to Fe'u, now to Riley Murray. We will get an offload back inside to Thorn. As he'll play the ball, 20 out. They go left now. It's Kay, spreading it to Mark Iron. He can't get very far, though. And they'll be 17 out. What can they come up with here on the last? Will it be a bomb kick, or will it be a grubber? As Will Kay, he elects to go to the grubber, but it just gets caught in Buckingham's feet there. Right option. But Buckingham was just in the way, and Manly defend that. Uh, kick very well as they will fight to get out of their own end again in this first half didn't have any really outstanding performers uh, for either team no, no one really stood out it was very much a back and forth game um, and both teams just using across the whole field their whole field to make meters to get those attacking players out uh, maybe Kobe Kelly you know, he's been pretty tremendous so far. I think he's sc he scored a double in the first half. As they're going to go for a 40-20 here. Corey Bell's there to take it. And he will step one. They're very close to the sideline, but he'll be brought down 20 out from their own line. As Freddie Anderson brings him down. They go left. He's going to go to Oldfield. Stepping through the middle here, Maverick Oldfield. Gets an offload to Riley Murray, who will get post-contact meters there. As he's brought down by Caitlin Kelly. Going left now. It's going to be Blake Harris. Spreading it out. Oh, Bre Corey Bell. Oh, I thought it was an intercept. Mark Iron through the line now. He's got numbers on the inside. He uses them, but no, he doesn't go to Manu. Instead, Brad Goodwin's there waiting for it. And the, the Storm giving it away an opportunity there for some good meterage. You know, they're early, early in their set as Maverick Keller plays the ball. It's going to be Kaylin Kelly now straight through the line. Who's there waiting for him? As Casey Kay's brought down by Riley Murray. Buckingham goes right, spreads it out to Goodwin, as now Manly are right on this line. Rex Buckingham, he's going to go left again. It's going to go all the way out to Billy King, who is taken there by Trey Bonsakahu and Maverick Oldfield. 
They go right. It's going to go KCK on the last. Puts a high kick up. Almatungi is ready for it. It's going to be Kobe Kelly, though, brought down with it. Well, coming down with it. And he'll take it to the 10, being brought down by Manley's fullback. as Manu Fa'afili now. An opportunity for some meters, and he gets about 10 there. The Storm having to fight out of their own end. As the penalty there goes the way of the Storm and Blake Harris will kick it into touch. That uh, has favoured them tremendously getting out of their own end and they get a whole new set starting past this 50. Hey, he's going to go inside now. It's going to go to Fetu. Brought down there by Kalen Kelly. As they go left, Will K spreads it out to Manu Fa'afili. It will be brought down once again. He's taken a few runs since he's come on the field. As they go right now, Justin Monkey. Bit of three uh, multiple uh, dimensions. Sorry, I was going to say three dimensional. 40 chess maybe from the storm there. A bit of layers to their attack all of a sudden. They go left. It's just going to be Monkey taking a hit up on the fourth. Fifth now. What can they come up with? Will K is getting ready for a kick out to the right there. And he's going to put a bomb up. It goes out left again. Kobe Kelly wants another one. It's going to be no cigar though. As Pato Pato comes down with him, he's been pretty good under that uh, high ball. But uh, trapping them in the corner, right idea there from Will K. That's Ethan Goodwin. Second tackle there, just on their 10. Tyler Almatani is getting out of a bit of trouble though. Yes, he sure will, as he'll be brought down on the 50. Logan Guy is getting the ankle tap. And Corey Bell finishing him off. As they go left again, it's going to go Casey K. Out to Kaylee. Out to Ray Romano. Logan Guys makes the tackle there. Fourth tackle now on the 40. The Manly wearing a Sea Eagles. As they go right, O'Shea Olay. Brought down 30 out from the line. Oh, as Brad Goodwin gets in the way in the fifth tackle, that's going to be a waste there. As they go left, Kobe Kelly. Now straight to the line, Kobe Kelly. He's been doing tremendously. He's on the right for some reason for that play. As he brings his team a great deal of meters to start their set. Logan Guy is there. Solid run from him. As Thorne goes left, Blake Harris. Now to Kay. Who will just take a run and just gets a, a round Maverick Keller. They go left. Manu Philly goes to Kobe Kelly. He can't break the line on that occasion. As they go right, Mav Will K, sorry, on a Manu Fatafili. They still play the ball. Thorne is going to go right here. K putting in the grubber kick. Oh, it must have just lost his hands. And the Seagulls get off the hook there. I thought that touched the boot there, but apparently not. <coughs> As Manly... We'll stop. We'll thwart another attempt to score points. It's Oshay Olay now through the line. He's going to be brought down by Mark Iron, though. Corey Bell will resume his duties at fullback. As Buckingham goes left, it's going to be Goodwin. Bumping over one, Brad Goodwin. He's going to be brought down by Logan Guys. Manly rolling down the field here. As Buckingham goes right, Oshay Olay goes to Maverick Keller. Will Kay and Manu Fatafili making the tackle there. As he, they go left, Brad Goodwin spreads it out to Billy King. Will be flipped on his back short of the line. Fifth tackle now. Are we wanting a good kick from Casey K here? And he just puts it along the ground. And Brad Goodwin's going to get it, but he will be brought down short. And Melbourne will have a turnover on their line. A good defense there from the Storm on that last tackle play as Monkey goes straight through the line on the first. Out to the left, Fetu now. Solid run from him as well. Second tackle, almost at the 40 now. They go right, it's going to be Blake Harris. Another good run from the half back there. Right again, it's going to go to Trey Bonsakayu. Inside ball to Corey Bell. Monkey gets it now. 35 out from the try line. What can. The Storm do. They're going to go to Blake Harris for a kick, and that's a good one 
out to Errol Ray Romano. He's very close to the sideline there, but he'll be just able to stay in as they will start their set within their 20. Billy King caught flat-footed. Oh, that looked forward there, but never mind as Ben Punch comes away through the line. That was very forward. Uh, I, need to, I need to expand my vocabulary of uh, NFL quarterbacks because some of these four passes are getting a bit ridiculous. Oh! As Riley Murray, he's here to put a hit on Tyler Almatungi, and geez, that was a big one at that. Brad Goodwin getting some meters after the fact. As fifth tackle now. Now the team have scored yet in this second half. Will it be off a kick return here from Maverick Oldfield? I guess we'll wait to see Oldfield. He's going to get past one, but he can't get away from Casey K, and that's going to really be hard to do so. Oh, as Casey K holds down too long in the tackle. And the referee going directly to him uh, for that one. The Storm will be rewarded and let out of their own end here. As Thorne goes left, goes to Fetu eventually. Through the hands of Murray. As he'll play the ball. They go right now. It's going to be Blake Harris. Goes to Terry Bonsa Kahu. Going left again, Riley Murray. Good driving through the middle. Goes to Manu Fatafili now. Solid run from the second rower. As the storm, they close in on this territory here. Blake Harris is just going to run it on the fourth, leaving Will K and maybe Teranga Halfetu to kick it. They're setting up like it's going to be Feu actually. No, it's going to go out the back. Corey Bell. What's Corey Bell doing? He wants to he wants to score. As Riley Murray got in the way there. And Corey Bell, he wanted to score in the last. He wanted one on his 50th. But uh, I, I dare say with a, a grubber kick, Corey Bell may have scored. I, I, guess you'll, I guess we'll never know. As Billy King brought down. Going right. It's going to be Chapman Kenny. Now to Brad Goodwin. Goodwin taking his sweet time to get up off the floor. Maybe he was hurt in that tackle. As it's going to be Amatangi stepping far. Philly. Fourth tackle now. Just crossing the 50. As Maverick Keller gets the ball and the interchanges have come on for Manly. As Casey K. Deep kick there from him. Maverick Oldfield now. He'll step one. Can't get past the Shea. Oh, no. Sorry, Casey K there. As they wait to play that. I think Trayvon Sakahu got distracted. Maybe he saw someone in the audience he likes the look of. Third tackle on the 30 is where the storm will be. They need a decent run somewhere here. Is Riley Murray... Get some good meters. Fourth tackle. Looks surely you go for a 40-20. Blake Harris is going to try. He's going to inside his own 40. He's going to trot it across the field. That ball's going to run as well, but it will hold up. And Pato Pato gets to it. It'll be brought down by Mark Iron though. You know, if that ball had a bit more power on it, that would have been a very easy 40-20. Looked very close there from Blake Harris though. As Rex Buckingham plays the ball, they go left now. Kalen Kelly. On the 50 is where he'll be brought down. Still no scoring in this second half. It's been very physical footy. As they go right. Now Alma Tungi spreads it to Oshay Olay. He'll be brought down on the 30. Fifth tackle. 30 out from the opposition try line. It'll be Kalen Kelly putting the kick in. Wow, okay. Over to Maverick Oldfield. They're disjointed, but Freddie Anderson, the big centre. Brings him down there. There's now Jack Jimmy. Jack Jimmy and I believe Ryan Wilmot. Oh no, Riley Murray's still in the field for whatever reason. As he comes off. Oh, and he's caused an error there, Riley Murray. As they're going to go, Casey K. Now 
Now out to the right, Freddie Anderson inside ball. Gonna be Jamie Taylor. Now going left, Casey Kay spreads it to Billy King. Out left, they're going to go out. Oh, it's going to hit someone though. Errol Ray Romano steps through. And Errol Ray Romano will be the first to score in the second half. And he will make this game closer. Pending a kick. It'll be six points if Oshayole gets this. You know, conceding a try may be exactly what Melbourne need or needed uh, in this game. Just to reset and settle for a little bit. As the heat is on in the last 15 minutes. Six points the difference. And some footy yet to be played. As the Storm, they go deep. Out to that left edge. To defend. Taylor takes that first hit up. Brought down by Thorne and Kay. Now Buckingham goes left. O'Shea LA. Out to punch. Going to go left. And Chapman Kenny goes to Tyler Alamatungi. Right now, Casey K gives it away, and that's an error there from Manly on their 40. And a forced one from the Storm. That's good there. As Jack Jimmy breaks through the line. Good run there from him, playing it prop now, the centre. And he'll get some good post-contact meters as well. They're right on the line here, Storm. What can they come up with? Ryan Wilmot's back on the field. They're going to go right. It's going to go to K. Now to Blake Harris. Spreads it out to Bell. He wants one, but he can't get it. Oh, and held in tackle here. Oh, and Casey K is going to go to the bin, I think. And yes, he does. For the next 10 minutes, the Seagulls will be out with, without their captain. And without their 5 8 As the Storm elect to take the two. Probably a good decision in this case. As Will K there. He slots that one, and 26 to 18 is the difference now. One in the bin for Manly, an important player. That may be uh, just the momentum change that the Storm needed to get over the line at Brookvale here. As they're going to go, O'Shea Ole. Going to pass, uh, kick it, and Jack Jimmy will get the ball. The 76th minute, rough, roughly, is when Payne Chapman Kenny will come back on the field. As you think the Storm would hit the right edge with all they've got. You know, they, if they kick to Maverick Oldfield, Casey K's been the one tackling him every time, pretty much. So you'd think that there may be a bit of danger there as Monkey drives it through the middle. Fourth tackle now. The Storm run it or kick it. They're going to go for an early kick there. Blake Harris puts it across face to Creed Alex Chapman. We brought down by Jack Jimmy, and that was not the kick they needed. They probably should have just ran it and kicked after the fact. On the fifth rather than the fourth. As they're going to go out to Ethan Goodwin. Brought down by Kobe Kelly. Good tackle there from the winger. As they go left again, it's going to Buckingham. Now to Taylor. Right to, back, right to O'Shea Ole, inside ball to Tyler Almatungi, brought down by Manu Fa'afili. As Buckingham goes left, there's going to be O'Shea Ole. Now to Errol Ray Romano. 15 out from the line now, Manly. As they put a high kick up, Kobe Kelly's underneath it. He's going to get a tap back. Oh, and Tyler Almatungi scored! And it's going to be two points of difference if Oshea Ole gets this kick. With eight minutes to go, this is going to be a bit of a close. The 
the Manly Seagulls have played tremendously in this second half. The Storm haven't scored a try this second half. They haven't had much of the ball, though, to be fair. As O'Shea on lay. We'll just put that one straight over. And two points is the difference. Melbourne's up. With eight minutes to go. KCK has another four minutes in the bin. This is going to be quite an ending to the match. As Will K. Will tee this one up. And you think Melbourne... You know, they've had one of the best defence defences in the competition so far. They really need to buckle in here. It's Buckingham. Catches that one. Goes out to Taylor. Maybe brought down the 20. Now they go left. Logan Guys. Tackling Billy King. As they go left again. Freddie Anderson out to Ray Romano. Brought down by Maverick Oldfield. And there's Big Mav on the other side. I guess that's Little Mav then for the Storm. It's Ben Punch. Tackle there. Fourth tackle now. Rex Buckingham wants his hand on the ball and he's going to just scoot from dummy half. That looked forward. Logan Guys is going to come away with it. And failing to be able to put a kick in to really force the Storm down the other end. They're going to be starting in their opposition's half. That's Trey Bonsakahu. It's a bit of a run. It's Logan Guys now through the line. Logan Guys holds onto the ball. Third tackle. 20 out now on the Melbourne Stormer. As they go left, Blake Harris spreads it. It's Jack Jimmy. Jack Jimmy's going to score it. And you'd think that is all That is all the game has. That will be the winner. Now, last year as a rookie centre. This year it's a rookie centre. To secure the Storm a win. As they will, you'd think, go up eight points with five minutes to go. There you go from the Melbourne Storm. There you are. Melbourne, I'm oh sorry, Will K, Melbourne Storm up by eight points. Casey K will be back on the field shortly. Wow, look at the Storm fans just up on their feet still. I'll show you later. we'll kick this one deep. Corey Bell, he goes left to Jack Jimmy. Right now, Will K spreads it out. As he'll play the ball on the 30, they're going to go left, it's going to be Wilmot. Out to the right. Now, guys, inside ball. Corey Bell hasn't got his try on his 50th. He wants one still. And it's going to be Will K. He's going to attempt for a 40-20 here. It's going to barrel towards the sideline, but it doesn't get the height that it needs. And Ethan Goodwin brought down. They go left now. Creed Alex Chapman spreads it to Keller. Three minutes. Casey K still in the bin. They need him back on soon if they want to try and win this game. I don't know how they'd manage that. As Creed Alex Chapman plays the ball, they're going to go left. It's going to be Freddie Anderson. Now to Errol Ray Romano. Find the ball. Freddie Anderson. He's going to step one. Freddie Anderson. He's going to go for the line. But he won't. He'll be flipped over. And it looks like OCK's going back on the field now for the last tackle. The last play of this of this uh, set, and it's going to knock it on immediately. And Jack Jimmy comes away with it, and I think that's all she wrote for this game. As the Storm will have the ball for the remainder. They go left now. It's Manu Fa'afili. Going left, Jack Jimmy. Another run from him. Now right to Will K. Spreads it to Ryan Wilmot. Right again, Justin Monkey, fourth tackle just before this 50 meter mark. As they go left, Blake Harris 
Wants to spread it out. It's going to be Corey Bell. Corey Bell now. He wants another one. I mean, he wants his first of the game, but he won't get it in the dying minutes. And it will be the Melbourne Storm walking away with an eight-point win against the Manly Warringah Seagulls. One that was fought to the death in another classic match. And the Melbourne Storm will get their third win of the season to get it back on track. Try scorers, Ala Alatangi, Goodwin, Ray Romano and Bontoff for the Seagulls. And for the Storm, it's Kobe Kelly with a, with a double. Taranga Halfetu, Jack Jimmy and Will Kay. Will Kay kicking six goals, five conversions and a penalty goal. And Oshay Ole kicking four of his conversions. Pretty even on the stats, it was just the penalties. Three to two, you know, three in the second half though for the Seagulls. And that ended up with KCK getting, on, getting put in the bin. Um, very, same completions. Manly had an extra set. Melbourne had a little bit more ball. Uh, Manly did a lot more tackling. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Missed, nine, missed seven more tackles, Manly. And the line breaks. Jeez, Melbourne Storm 31 to 18. That is enormous difference. As Buckingham, I mean, Tyler Amatungi, rather, had 140 metres. Part of his name. Pretty quiet performance from him. Brad Goodman, 37 minutes, did well, 130 metres. And uh, just going down the line, yeah, really not much going for some of these uh, players here. That's Kobe Kelly. 197 metres for him. Six line breaks. Corey Bell. Quite performance, but still did 171 metres, six line breaks. Kobe had ov obviously had two tries as well. Monkey did 168 metres. That's good. Um, Jack Jimmy, 124 metres. That's a very decent performance from him. Three line breaks, a try. Logan Guys had a good performance. Fetu had a good one. Uh, Case kicking left a bit to be desired. But overall, pretty good from across the board. Oh, James Thorne, 27 tackles, one missed. Good performance from him as well. Um, but yeah, some good stuff in the end. It was just a lead too big in the second half, in the first half for Manly to get over. And Storm will come away with an eight-point lead, 24 to 32. Thank you very much for joining us here. Uh, this week for Rivalry Round, it's been an absolute pleasure having you. Make sure you tune in next week for more SRL action.